So guys, on this Mercedes, this 2003, I believe, SL500, I had an issue with this wood trim on the driver's side. Now you can see here that I've already started the process of the repair. What was wrong with it was that apparently there's a plastic clip on the back side that goes into a hole that secures it and keeps it in place. Well, that clip apparently broke off and it no longer was able to hold. Now what I am doing now is removing this Gorilla black tape. It's like a duct tape, but it's stronger. I'm removing this because I had it um, securing this wood trim as the glue uh, cured. Uh, I wanted it to make sure, uh, I want to make sure that it cured in place, and that it held the way that I wanted it to dry so that it would line up with the hole. So what I did, after I remove this, I'll explain it. Hold on. All right, it took two hands to get this off. See, I hate to record in this way. This is a kind of like reverse order, um, but I'm going to explain why I did what I did and how I did what I did. So the back side of this right here, you see a hole right here. And now you see this piece right here that's gonna press into it. But that was broken off. Whatever was here was off. Whatever plastic or metal piece that was glued to the back of this was missing. And so it popped out and the previous owner tried to just glue this piece onto here, but of course that didn't hold. So what I did is take some of this right here this is some incredible stuff, guys. This 3M panel bonding adhesive. And uh, this stuff I use for the paneling um, for my wide body kit, attaching the fiberglass onto the aluminum body, like the rear quarter panels. Um, I use a combination of screws and this right here. Some people use rivets, uh, but this right here is the same thing that uh, car manufacturers use when they uh, put attached panels to cars uh, actually to uh, the framework the chassis they're attaching it they use a combination of welding and a combination of this um, to attach panels to each other it's crazy that stuff is super strong so it's a two-part uh, it comes with this blending or mixing uh, attachment but it's a one-time use because what this does is it pushes it through this chamber and it mixes and mixes, comes out the end already uh, mixed. But guess what? This right here will harden and then it's no good. So typically what I do is I just squeeze it directly out of here. The two parts, I just mix it. Uh, I just squeeze it out, mix it, um, and then apply it. Now it takes that special, like if you use like a caulking gun, it's something like that that's designed specifically for these type of 3Ms. Um, um, glues um, uh, 3m sells it uh, I bought it on either Amazon or eBay and uh, this stuff is, is so incredibly useful um, if you do a lot of uh, car work also what I did was I took one of these push pins like that you would use for body panels um, for like uh, things like this you know like you attach them on the uh, back side or you push them into the front and they secure it so interior uh, body um, clips or whatever. So I found one that fit into that hole that once you push it in, it's not coming back out. And so that's how this is designed to, to do. It's supposed to go in and be difficult to pull out. And so I found one that fit perfectly. Cause I bought like a whole bag of these things, different sizes. And so my goal was to glue this to the back of this right here, align it, give it a data to, to cure, so that I can push this in and it won't come out. Because just over time, you know, these are actually wooden pieces and they flex just like wood flexes. It's been uh, obviously flexing for a while now because it's been scratching up this daggone uh, button. Um, so why do I have blue tape? Well, because after I did my mixing, I put it on the back side of here and I glued this to it it because it has not cured it could slide down i had it a line where i wanted it to be but it could slide down right just because it's a uh, liquid still it hasn't it didn't harden so i took some tape 
I put a hole inside. Uh, I put a piece, took a piece of this tape right here, punched a hole in it that would fit over this, and I wrapped it and secured it so that it could harden and stay in place. And I just went like this. The purpose of that tape right there was to pull this in so that it aligned perfectly with that hole. So that when it cured, it lined up perfectly with that hole. So I pulled this closer to this and kept tension on it overnight. And that's exactly what it did. It perfectly lined up with that hole. So after almost 24 hours of cure time, which is what is recommended for here, 24 hours of cure time, I should now be able to remove this tape as much of it as possible so that it's not visible from the front. I'm gonna put the this uh, recording device down so that I can do it do it with two hands, do it carefully. Hold on. Okay. Had to remove some of that tape. I need two hands to do that. All right. So when I push this in now, it should stay. Again, these are real wood with uh, probably aluminum backing. Typically, is how Mercedes does it. And so with enough flex. It can make it difficult to reattach these. Um, you don't want to over flex this because it is maybe acrylic or whatever is on top of this uh, wood. And so it can't crack. And you don't want to do that because this is pretty right now. So this is the way that I repaired mine. And uh, when I push this in, it should be it. Let's see. There you go. Just like that. Just like that. All right, fixed. I just have to remove some of this adhesive stuff from the tape and I'm good to go. So again, guys, these are designed to go in and be difficult to come out. Kind of like how a fish hook is. Um, it has these splines right here that work against it being easily pulled out. They're tapered so that they go in, but it's hard to pull out. And so finding the right size that fits into that hole securely and then gluing it to the back of this wood panel using something of high quality like this is how you can fix your panel. So if you're having that issue, consider this as a permanent solution.